warm today so I'm just gonna sit out here doing my makeup I think I really need to get my teeth whitened because I brush my teeth, but my teeth be like kind of like a palish yellow. Okay, hold on a second. Ooh, I don't want to get too close. I wanted to do a quick video on this viral video that showed up on Twitter last night and people tagged it as Hurt Bay and it's a video about this guy admitting to his girlfriend that he cheated on her with multiple girls and he basically wasn't sorry for it he basically was sitting there like yeah I cheated on you yeah I know it hurts you but it is what it is so how do you feel about that and the girl was crying visibly upset and everyone is feeling sorry for her because that sucks. You don't just admit you betrayed someone and then say, but I mean, it's not a big deal because it's not like I gave a fuck about those girls before. Because I didn't watch the whole video. I thought the video was so ignorant that I couldn't just sit there and stomach the whole thing. So I just turned it off at like 23 seconds. But one of the things the girl told the guy was, the reason why I forgave you is because you're my best friend. Which she basically wanted to say, I love you, but she said, I see you as my best friend. Which I'm kind of like, bitch. Because my thing about this whole world that we live in is that women are expected to forgive men for cheating more than we are told to forgive women for cheating. So I'm kind of looking at her sideways as well like you walked in on your man cheating on you with another girl and he tells you to leave so you leave and you go and cry like my thing is I understand you're upset but my my type of reaction is not to cry it's to cause a scene because that's just how I am as a Capricorn you know, I'm not going to sit here and let you walk all over me and what's funny is that when I get walked over people call me crazy and you know, you can gaslight me all you want and say that what you are doing to me is not what you are doing to me, but I know what's happening. So if you screw me over, I'm going to let you know how I feel and I'm going to confront you about it until you get it through your head that what you did to me was fucked up. But everyone is saying the guy's a loser, the guy shouldn't have cheated on you, and good for her that she is no longer with the guy. You know, at least she's not one of those people that is like, okay, everyone else in the situation was a hoe, and you made a mistake, so I'm going to stay with you. At least she has enough sense to leave the guy. But, you know... If you really want to know if your man crush Monday is an upstanding character, search bitch, ho, hoes, girls, females in his Twitter handle to see how he really feels about women because you will find a whole lot. I know when I was talking to this guy, I searched females and he said things from 2013 that just did not add up. It did not seem right. He basically retweeting things saying like, oh, if you have a relationship, you shouldn't do single things or you shouldn't have to go to the club and hang out because you want to turn down for what. Some some pick me Twitter post that other girls had said, but I'm kind of like, that was 2013. I've changed since 2013. So it is what it is with that. But I'm not going to sit here and make excuses, especially when he wants to sit here and say, I don't want a relationship, but I still want to keep fucking with you. I want to keep doing things with you that constitutes as a relationship. I want to do physical things with you, but I don't want to mentally call it a relationship. I want the physical aspects of a relationship, but I don't want the as I don't want the abstract of a relationship. I don't want to say, okay, we're together, we are exclusive. And that's fine. But then for you to act as if I am in the wrong because I'm saying there is no sense of constantly hanging out with you but then you don't want a relationship and for you to imply that you don't want a relationship eventually that's why I reacted the way that I did so how I'm looking at relationships today is just 
I try not to be bothered with a lot of guys. I try not to deal with a lot of them because most of them are entitled. I'm not that into men like that. My mom can sort of make jokes all she wants about, well, go get with a girl as if being with a girl is worse than being with a guy because maybe I do. It, it, it's not important right now, but to act as if men are something that you have to end up with or else you'll be lonely or you'll be bisexual or a lesbian, I'm not with it. Oh my God, is that the... Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I saw a guy that um, is actually a friend of a friend of mine's and I saw them on Twitter the other day and I said, he looks familiar so I think I saw them so I may say something. But I have so many guys just basically hitting me up on Snapchat saying, you know, we should talk, you're very cute. And as a person who is taught to be polite, I say thank you. But then they want to take it to the next step. They want you to acknowledge them, have a conversation with them, so then they can lie and say that, well, I thought we were in a relationship. You led me on because you said thank you when I complimented your looks. So I either ignore people or don't say anything at all. I've tried Tinder, Soul Swipe, but then most guys get very obsessed with me. For, for no reason, and they just do the most. Like on Facebook, there is one guy seriously sitting here acting as if I am the love of his life. And I'm like, you niggas just basically focusing on looks. All you see is an attractive girl in your mind, and y'all think that y'all should end up with her. Like, that's your thought process. Oh, she's attractive, so I am entitled to be with her. I, I It doesn't make sense to me. Because I don't look at relationships as you're cute, we should date. I look at it as you're cute, but I like your personality. There is something about you that I really like. I want to get to know you more. But I'm not going after people and constantly trying to pressure them into talking to me or dating them just because I'm attracted to them. If someone isn't responding to my messages, I will be disappointed. But I'm not going to constantly send them 20 messages a day until they answer I mean, I have, I, I've done it. Like, I've called people, like, 20, 10 times a day because, like, I was trying to get through to them or they did something that pissed me off. So I would, like, just be petty about it. But if I can tell someone's not into me, I'm not going to just keep messaging them. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, why aren't you answering or trying to use guilt tactics? Like, I feel that you're not into me. Well, if you can sense that, you can unfriend me or you can unfollow me and talk to the next girl. It's like... They get obsessed with the idea of being with me or sleeping with me or doing something with me that they just determine. Like, these are guys that have been talking to me since July of last year. It's now 2017, and we haven't really done anything since maybe August, and you're still trying to talk to me. There is one guy that I talked to back in June. Uh, we only went out three times because he got really weird and he was starting to become obsessed with me he was an Italian not that it makes a difference but I'm just you know giving you an idea like he was a white man um the first time I actually like went on a date with a white man even though like originally I used to like be attracted to white guys for some reason but you know the first relationships I had were with black guys so he seemed like a nice guy but I wasn't into him like that. Every now and then he will text me what's up. I had to block him because I'm thinking, okay, you're getting weird and you moved. So why are you still trying to talk to me? So I don't really try to get involved with guys unless I really like them. So that's the difference with me. If I am really feeling you, of course, I'm going to like do all I can to get with you or like try to make it work. You know, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit. If I like you, I'm just going to focus on you. I'm not going to focus on anyone else. If I'm talking to other people, I will cut them off. And, you know, it may hurt because I really hate to hurt people. But if you're a person that's like, I can't be your friend, like I got to be with you and you get obsessed, then yes, I'm going to cut you off. That's my thought process. But, yeah, I have him and then another guy who had actually unfriended me on Snapchat because if you check the score, 
if the score doesn't show up, that means that they aren't following you on Snapchat. So once I saw that his score didn't show up, I unfriended him. And since the guy I was really talking to cut me off and I was upset, I said, you know what, I'm not obligated to talk to any guy, so I'm just going to unfriend them all. Well, he refriends me a couple of weeks later, and now he is still following me. And I'm like, really? And then he's like, I'm thinking I'm losing interest in you because you're not really responding. Okay, please lose interest in me. Like, I don't want to have to go through the process of saying I'm not that into you because it's awkward and I'm guilty. Like, I feel bad, but I don't want to have to, like, confront you because I know how a lot of you guys are. And he is really someone who will flip the hell out. So... I can't, like I said, I can't handle guys, really. If I go to a club and I'm dancing and having a good time, here they are always wanting to dance with me, and I didn't ask them to put their hands on my hips or anything, and then they will start try, trying to gyrate with me and then get mad because I'm not a good dancer, which, okay, but then no one tell you to come up on me and put your hands upon my waist or my ass. So that's your fault, but... For people like my mom to suggest that, oh, you should start dating girls then, instead of just suggesting to find better guys and not be around people like that. But apparently it's my fault because I exist, because, oh, I'm giving them an imp the impression that I want them in, like, long jeans and a fucking shirt. Like, come on. Like, half the time I'm walking around, like, I'm walking around pretty much like a working class Midwestern girl. That's basically my style. So why I feel as if I give off the impression that I want something for other people, I don't know. And I also think it's part of massaging war as well, like as a black girl. It's like we are always open for anything because who would want to talk to us? So if you talk to us, we must be lucky. You know, that presumption that black girls and black films must be ready for your advances. And even if we aren't, then... Well, we should because no one else is going to appreciate us. And that's dangerous as well. That's a part of abuse culture. It's a part of rape culture for black girls and black films. So, yeah, I find this happening to me a lot. I used to think, well, you know, as an autistic black girl, I'm not going to have any people showing advances towards me. But then I realized, oh, plenty of people will. The more marginalized you are as a woman, the more advances men will give to you because they feel as if you are easy to mimic. To manipulate they feel that you are naive they feel as if you are going to be grateful for their advances because no one wants you in this society um, that's not true but yeah they will particularly go towards girls who are black dark-skinned disabled fat trans queer and they will use their oppression to manipulate them because you know a lot of us have low self-esteem so don't feel as if, oh, you got to be blonde, thin, pale to be sexually harassed. It, it, it's anyone that can be sexually harassed, not just women, but men, gender non-binary people, those who are gender fluid, those who are different genders as well. Because it's not just men and women. Like, there are more than one gender. Like, um, we can look like anything. It's not, like, I'm not going to explain it now, but... Just watch yourself. Um, try to stay in healthy relationships. Don't deal with a guy like Hurt Bay. Be yourself. That's my advice. Peace out.